All right, real quick video on these hybrid mini splits. I'm just gonna give a breakdown on my thoughts on them. Um, I'm on a lot of the solar forums on Facebook and um, they pop up a lot, these hybrid mini splits. I have one, um, but this poor guy, a couple of days ago, he posted he had got a mini split, a kit from Signature Solar, I think, where they sold them um, the hybrid mini split plus four panels, which is like pretty standard. Um, and everybody in the comments just roasting them saying, you idiot, like those are so gimmicky. And to an extent, they are limited in what they can do. But the appeal to the hybrid mini splits is you get to kind of dip your toes into solar um, for um, not a very big cost. And um, you kind of dip your toes into mini splits, which is another kind of cool tech, in my opinion. Um, and you can use it to cool your house, which for most people, I live in Arizona and it's, you know, during the summer, May, June, July, like that's the biggest cost by far in your electricity is your um, your air conditioning. So if you have, you know, a small, um, you know, mini split with four panels and it cools your entire house, you know, man, in Arizona, depending on your house, um, your electricity bill, and depending on how low you keep the thermostat, like your bill could be like $500 a month to, you know, $800 a month. <laughs> and that's just for like a standard, you know, three bedroom, two bath house, it's probably like 1800 square feet. Obviously, if you have a newer house, it's well insulated and you've got, you know, um, energy efficient windows, appliances, you know, it's different, but I'm just saying your typical house built in like the 1970s or 80s that has minimal insulation, you know, old windows, they're not very um, insulated. So you're gonna spend a ton of money for electricity because you're running your HVAC for so long. The point I'm trying to make is these hybrid mini splits uh, kind of introduce you to solar they introduce you to the mini splits and depending on where you live like they'll cool your house um, they'll slice your electric bill almost in half like in my case and so <clears throat> in a couple summers they'll pay for itself and so I'll talk a little bit about the drawbacks okay so I, I went over kind of the benefits of a hybrid mini split um, we don't use air conditioning too much here I mean we don't use heating too much here in Arizona so if you live somewhere where it's uh, very cold, you know, you'll get that benefit too, but we don't even use it out here, or at least I don't. Um, and then we'll talk about the main argument against this here, hybrid mini split. Uh, the cost, I just looked at this on Signature Solar. Uh, so I bought one of these like maybe a year, year and a half ago, and I paid like 1600 bucks or 1700 bucks. I didn't pay two grand. I don't, I don't remember paying two grand. I want to say it was like 1700 bucks. Um, and this is before tax, before shipping. But that's what it costs right now on Signature Solar's website, 2,600 bucks. Um, it is a 22 sear hybrid um, mini split. And so the one I got was a 20 sear. So apparently it must be like a, a more efficient model, but it's a 12K um, 22 sear. And they give you 1,800 watts worth of solar, which is four solar panels. Uh, the other benefit is their uh, plug and play quick connect. And so that's uh, a big, uh, I guess, pro, pro in my, uh, um, kind of experience working with mini splits is the quick connects I mean you don't need a vacuum you don't need gauges you don't need um, all the other HVAC tools because you can literally install this whole setup in like an afternoon like four or five hours you can literally have this thing up and going um, and cool in your house so the downside is and this is why everybody roasts these and the poor guy on Facebook why he got roasted is he said on his comment um, He's like, I noticed there's a max draw, like typically when the mini split's first starting, you know, it's ramping up high speed, trying to cool your house down. It'll, it'll draw about a thousand watts. That's what mine typically does. And then eventually once it cools the house down, it'll kind of stabilize around 500 watts, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. But this is kind of where the mini split's gonna hang out for most of the, the time when it's hot outside. It's gonna hang, hang out around 500 watts. So for four, five, six hours, however many hours the sun's out, um, the mini split's gonna average around 500 watts. So if you have 1800 watts of you know theoretical solar that you get with a kit, but you're only using 500, 600 watts, that means you have a surplus of over a thousand watts, probably like closer to 1200 watts. And so this surplus is unused. You can't do anything with it. It's, it's kind of annoying. And so I realized that like really quickly and most people when they get this type of system, eventually they realize that, that like, like my mini split doesn't use a lot and I have a ton of solar. I wish I could use the excess surplus for something else. And so if you're making surplus of like a thousand watts and you have pretty good sun for five or six hours, like we do here in Arizona, 
um, you know, you, that's like six or 7,000 watts a day. And so uh, of unused solar that, uh, you know, you could put it into a battery bank and you could be using it to power, you know, your fridge, your lights, you know, whatever, anything else in your house. And so that's the biggest con here is, um, is kind of unused solar. Um, and it's unfortunate that a lot of people like to ask like, oh, is there like a system that you can incorporate where you can hook up batteries or, you know, do something that you can just hook up and utilize that extra solar. But I haven't come across anything. And so that's the, maybe eventually they will. I think it, it's a good idea, um, but um, it's a kind of a one trick pony in that aspect where if you go, what a lot of people usually suggest in the comments is, you know, just get a regular mini split, a high, effici a high efficiency mini split and just get a small solar system. And so you can get a regular mini split like uh, uh, 12K for, you know, maybe 20 or 24 year for 500 bucks, depending if it's on sale or 700 bucks. Or um, I'm gauging a lot of this stuff, prices off as if it's new, but like sometimes you catch these on Facebook Marketplace or you know you catch them on Craigslist or something for like way cheap. Um, I actually have a, a 9K mini split here. I bought off some guy on Facebook Marketplace for a thousand bucks. But if I were to buy this on Signature Solar right now, it's like $1,600 without shipping. So, you know, you can always look at the kind of um, the used market uh, or like Marketplace um, and you find some pretty good deals. But anyways, <clears throat> the a regular mini split, one ton, uh, 20 to 24 seer, you can pick them up for, you know, six, 700 bucks all day long on Amazon. Um, however, they're not quick connects. Uh, so you'll need vacuum gauges, tools, and you got to consider that if you're, you know, wanting to do the mini split route. Or you could just do a quick connect like a Mr. Cool or um, like an EG4 that's not a hybrid uh, mini split. They're quick connects, uh, but they're not 700 bucks. They're closer to like 1200. They're like double the price. Um, the next thing you would need for a small system um, is a small inverter. I'm just using uh, EG4 products because that's what I'm familiar with. They're super easy to use, very DIY friendly, and there's like a thousand videos on YouTube uh, on the 6000 XP. So, and it's pretty capable. Um, 6000 watts of continuous output. I mean, um, it can do a decent amount of loads. And right now on Signature Solar's website, it's 1700 bucks. So uh, you would also need a, a server rack battery. That's the bare minimum you would probably want. And those, you know, they're a thousand bucks, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. And then you would need four 400 watt panels. Um, I put a hundred bucks a piece, you know, you can get, you can find uh, um, panels, uh, 400 watt panels on Marketplace all day long for under a hundred bucks that are, you know, 300, 400 watts. And if you get four of them, it roughly costs you about $400. Um, I would recommend doing like a small critical loads panel and that would cost you uh, some wire, some breakers, um, um, a little junction box, a little, uh, what is it called? Uh, like a sub panel. Um, and you'd probably spend an, another 200 bucks um, on miscellaneous supplies. So at the bare minimum, you're looking at like $3,700 for a mini split, the 6,000 XP hybrid inverter, a server rack battery, the four panels and miscellaneous stuff is gonna be about $3,700. You could probably get it cheaper. It might be a little bit more um, depending on you know where you live, discount codes, all that stuff. Um, but roughly you're looking at you know $3,700. So it's about um, you know about $1,000 more than just this regular mini split or this regular hybrid mini split. So you're gonna spend about $1,000 more to get this kind of smaller setup, probably a little bit more, um, like $1,500 is what this system is gonna, end up costing you but the benefit to spending the fifteen hundred dollars here is you get to utilize the full um, amount of the solar um, this twelve hundred watts is not going to go to waste because you can dump it into a server rack battery and if you have a small little critical loads panel uh, well now you can use it to power your fridge and um, other appliances lights in your house receptacles um, and so this six seven thousand watts every day that's being produced by you know for for uh the, the excess solar, um, you can actually use it. All right, so if I had to guess, you're probably gonna spend about 4,000-ish dollars if you go this kind of small system here, um, initially up front, um, where with the hybrid mini split, you'll probably be well under 3,000. Well, you'll be probably be closer to 4,000 if you go the small setup. But again, you get to utilize all take advantage of all the solar you're making where here you just waste it um, and then the other benefit here is if you go this route uh, most of the time like it's scalable 
So if for some reason you want to get more solar, well, you can buy more solar panels. You want more battery storage because you got, you know, um, a hot tub or an EV that you're trying to power. Well, you can just add another battery bank, more solar panels. Um, you can even get another uh, 6,000 XP and parallel it. And so you can upgrade this as your needs grow, where you're kind of, uh, you know, stuck here in this kind of phase where you're just using it for air conditioning. Um, again, I'm not knocking this, I got one, but when you learn more about solar, which the only reason how I learned anything about solar is because I saw this and I was like, man, this is pretty cool. It didn't cost me, it cost me at the time like 1800 bucks. Um, and I got into solar more, but once you get into solar more, you start to realize like everybody in the Facebook comments, how this is kind of limited in what it can do. And you're far better off going this route, uh, spending a little bit more money up front and um, utilizing all the solar um, that you can. And so uh, those are just my thoughts. Um, I'm not bashing on the hybrid mini split. I think they're cool, but um, if I were to do it again, I would not go this route. <laughs> I would save my money here and dump it here um, because in the long run, um, this, this route ends up saving you money. Um, anyways, uh, what do you guys think about this hybrid mini split? Um, and if you guys have like anything else to add, let me know. I tried to cover like everything that I ran into in, in my kind of experience with the mini split and just doing my own system. Um, I got a 12,000 XP um, and two wall mount batteries and it powers my entire house. I think I got like uh, 2,400 watt panels. Um, but what I ended up doing is the four panels from the hybrid mini split, I sold them on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody bought them off me for like uh, 400 bucks. So I was able to make some money back, but um, the good thing is, um, you know, this, even if I hadn't sold them, it would have paid for itself. Like, um, the first summer I, I, uh, I had this hybrid mini split, like it literally saved me, I don't know, close to a thousand bucks just on one summer because it slashed my AC down Well, my, my, uh, utility electric bill, it cut it in half for like four months. And so, uh, I'm not going to call these, you know, a gimmick or overhyped or you know whatever they're just they're limited in what they can do and as long as you accept that and understand that um, they're cool um, but if you're trying to get the most out of your money and the most out of your solar that's the route you want to go it's gonna cost you a little bit more up front but in the long run uh, you'll save a ton of money all right then I'll catch you guys on the next all right, one this is the uh, hybrid mini split I bought the four solar panels it came with they were uh, serious 415 watt uh, panels uh, took me about four or five hours to kind of put it all together um, i just slapped it on my porch with some two by fours um and it works great i mean at the end of video at the end of the video here you'll see the infrared gun i have you know it was literally pumping out you know 49 50 degrees of cold air and during that time it was probably like 100 degrees outside but the downfall is during the winter time in arizona we don't use the heater uh, you, you just, there's just no need for it. Um, so during the winter time, those four solar panels didn't do anything. Um, obviously, that's going to be different if you live in a colder climate. You'll probably use the heat, but again, um, you're probably not going to utilize all of the solar. So another, it's kind of like another downfall to the hybrid mini split.